have a dedicated server. If you are interested in coming by and and checking out and and playing and crafting, you are certainly welcome. Just join the Discord and we'll get you the information. Uh, we're not bringing in overpowered characters, so don't don't we're not going to be allowed to do that. However, um, it it should be a good time. I I played like five minutes of Valheim, so I know nothing. It's going to be an exploratory uh, an exploratory co-op stream. No, but you got to get these good you got to get these good co-op games, man. I think a co-op stream is different from like a party stream. We could do a we could do a party stream where we play like free games like Scribble.io or like do do that. Like I I'm down to do that every once in a while, but for a co-op stream I want a little bit something a little bit more. You buy Curse of the Dead Gods. <laughs> well, that's good. Curse of the Dead Gods is great. That's a great game. Okay. Friends, I have done I have done one kind of run in this game. This is kind of like the overworld. Um, we've got uh, we've got these different uh, zones, and there are survivors around us. The idea is that the world. If you I don't know if you saw the video uh, that I put out this morning already. Yeah, Jack's, Jackbox, we, that would be fun. I would like to do Jackbox again. That was enjoyable. Um, but we we are trying to trying to farm up these um, materials by doing by doing loops, and I'll show you what loops are in a minute. But we're trying to farm up materials so that we can get these different um, these different zones. Uh, okay, so uh, we need we want to get a smithy. We want basic warrior's gear, craft tools, uh, potions. I'm not sure. I, I haven't gotten a potion before, but unlocks the swamp card, uh, refuge, get, unlocks a new class. We get a rogue if we unlock the refuge. So that's kind of cool. Um, and then, and then we can look at our cards. So these are the cards that we have, and we can activate or deactivate cards. We put Blood Grove in. I'm gonna take Road Lantern out. Uh, Grove is good. We need Grove, Meadow and Rock. These are like these we place in in the world outside the loop. So it's kind of like the world has gone into oblivion, and we're trying to remember what the world was like. And so as we get these cards. We are remembering zones of the world. So I, I think I remember there was a mountain over there. So we start building a mountain over in this like side side of the thing. I think we want treasuries. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get rid of beacon. I'm gonna get rid of oblivion too. We'll get rid of oblivion. Okay. And we're gonna confirm and go with this. Yeah. Let's let's do it. Chapter one, class warrior, additional class stats. Is is everyone okay with the the font? I can change the font to be a little bit more readable, but um, this is a lot got a lot more like character, so I kind of like it. Never get rid of oblivion. <laughs> Why? Why? I need. I'll, I will. I will learn that for myself. Thank you very much, technicians. No, I'm. I'm okay with backseating. I just. I'm. I am going to um, leave it out for this. For this loop. Stuck on the chapter one boss. So here's our loop. It's completely empty. All of this is just dark void. We just ran into a slime. It's all done automatically. We kind of set set up the world. Um, we set up the world. I'm gonna make a little cemetery row over here to get some skeletons. Get sent to the moon for free. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I, I was joking, but I, I am I am going to just experiment a little bit um, and not not necessarily follow all advice. I do get the idea behind Obliviation or Oblivion or whatever. Okay, meadow. Let's just start meadow over a uh, meadow over here. But like things like things like never, you know, never get rid of XYZ card 
are always kind of worrying to me. Like, like, because if there's if there's a car that you should never go without, like that's that's kind of a bummer, right? Isn't that kind of a bummer? All right, so that this is our skeleton zone. Let's make a little let's make a little spider zone over here, maybe. So yeah, some more gear. We need this, and we need a shield. So you retreat world around you while while looping. Yeah, you kind of recreate the world around you while you're looping. Exactly. Uh, treasury. Treasury is very good. We'll put that in the corner here, and we start building meadows around the treasury. So we get bonus materials uh, for anything built by the treasury. Oh, and I should explain a little bit. So the meadow. The meadows give us HP each day. <clears throat> so a day and a loop are not the same thing. A a loop a loop is when you go past your cozy camp. But days go by days go by somewhat regularly. The days go by and you get healed each time uh, a day goes by. I'm just gonna hold pause for just a sec because I've been talking a lot. Uh, Okay, we're gonna go, we're gonna put a vampire mansion. Should we put a vampire mansion here? That's dangerous with the skeletons, I think, but uh, yeah, that's probably too dangerous. Let's put a vampire mansion over here by the spiders. Okay, another meadow. Another cemetery here, and a grove. We'll, we'll make it a grove by the, by the cemetery. I think this is I think this is okay. Ooh, more more HP. Day bar in top top left corner. Not very far. Reg, I've gotten like I've done one loop. <clears throat> I've done one loop. There that was the day. You hear the little you hear the little uh, <laughs> rooster crow and that's that's how you know. Uh I don't know. I don't know which one's better. We'll just take the vampirism for now. Ooh. Way better. Nice. Oh, day progress. Yes. Okay. Thank you. So. Oh my. Ghost of a ghost. Yikes. Luckily, it's not doing much damage at all. And now we fight the chest. We get stuff yeah we'll go with damage to all put another meadow down another rock down so the rocks provide HP and they give you more HP if you're next to um, if it's placed next to other rocks I'm gonna put this treasury up here I guess Yeah, so there's a lot of like, I don't know, I think it's kind of interesting. Ooh, we got Orb of Expansion. Oh wow, we got lots of rocks to place. So one cool thing that you can do if you place a 3x3 three three of, of rocks is, um, is uh, you get you get a mountain, which has some, has some bonuses, so check it out. Boom, giant mountain. Tons of resources and more mountains. Counter, vampirism, evasion. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so we have a goblin. A goblin camp. That corner with the vampire spiders and grove looking scary. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of enemies in that zone. You're, you're right. You are right about that. Ooh, oh, lots of lots of HP there. That's great. Yeah, this is maybe a, a scary a scary zone. We'll have to see. Okay. Nice. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, we're gonna go with this because it's got evasion. I think everything else is good. 
So when the map is finished, the loop is finished as well. So no, you can you can leave. So you can leave at any point, um, and and sometimes you get to the point where you want to leave. So I can retreat and take take more. Um, I get sixty percent of my resources. If I defeat the boss, I think if I defeat the boss, I get to keep all of my resources. Um, but um, but yeah, so you kind of want to keep keep looping until the boss meter gets to full. But yeah, it's it's a little it's a little bit. Um, whoops, that wasn't. There we go. That's better. So we're getting more max HP by putting those rocks down. More rocks. Okay, this this zone could be pretty scary. We'll have to see. Damage to all. Vampirism. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's way better. Counter and evasion. If we can stack... If we can stack attack speed and vampirism, I think that would be really good. Obviously, as much damage as we can get, too, is, is good. Oh, okay. I'll receive the retreat. Get a gold border. Gotcha. Oh, okay. Okay. Nice. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, this zone is, is what's going to hurt us the most, I think. Oh, we got some blood groves. Wait. Oh, I put this in the wrong spot. Shoot. That's probably what you were talking about. Don't get rid of Obliviate so you can remove tiles. <laughs> Well, okay, we'll we'll be able to we'll put some more groves down and get some blood groves going. Give it a quick look. <laughs> if only there was an oblivion. I know technicians, I know. Uh let's see. Counter evasion. I think I like this better. Attack speed up 12%. I don't know. I think I like I think I like this attack speed up 12%. We're losing some HP. And we're losing some damage to all. But isn't that isn't that good? I think that's pretty good. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with it. Let's see here. Uh-oh. Kill the leader first! Come on! Fight the leader first, you dummy! Spider cocoon. Uh, let's do another one, kind of like over here. Or no, let's do it. Let's do it here. Oof! Battlefield. Dang it. I want another battle. Ugh. Maybe a battlefield here. <laughs> That's probably a terrible idea. Let's do it anyway. Did I pause? Oh. I see. Did we freeze? Is the game, like, frozen? Why am I no longer moving? Oh, you're right. Thank you. You need some more groves, man. Another cemetery. There's our grove. Uh, let's... Let's go here so we can do blood grove here and here. Rock. More cemetery. I don't know how wise it is to put all that cemetery there, but 
I'm still, I'm still just learning. I'm fine with it. Okay. Oh, 35. That hurts. Another treasury. Okay, it's more max HP, but I want, I like this attack speed thing. I like the attack speed a lot. Defense. Counter. I think I think I'll stick with the counter and evasion rather than the attack speed. Nice. Yeah, this zone is a little scary. A lot scary, actually. We may need to reset this loop. Uh, if we can survive this. Can we survive this, is the question. Come on, baby! Let's evade! Evade those enemies. <laughs> Vampire Mansion. Let's just put it here. <laughs> Oof. Bit, bit scary here. Now we're, we're good with that. Nope, no problem. Okay, let's let's pause for a second so we can get this uh, get this going. We're getting so much rock, so much rock. I'm gonna just hold off on this battlefield, like good gracious. Can we survive? If if we can, we'll probably loop back. It's very. Very scary zone we've created for ourselves. You don't even—I don't even realize I—I I, I do it. Uh, don't want to be backseating. If if you right-click or, or space during battle, you'll see see it playing on top, and it will immediately pause when the battle ends, so you have time to do things without your guy walking around and doing another fight. That's a good idea. Okay. All right, we are out of the—we are out of the super scary part. Obviously, this is still scary. Defense, evasion, vampirism. We lose some attack speed, but I think the defense and evasion is better. 21% evasion. I think we do. I think we do do that. I think we do that. Okay. okay we're nearly we're nearly there with that, which is awesome. If we can survive this, then I think we're okay. Can we survive this, though? I don't know. Come on, baby. Get him. Get him. Oh, the day. The day saved us. The day saved us. And we get all the resources. Come on. Yes. Okay. I don't know. I don't want to lose my evasion. Okay, we just have to kill this goblin and then get to camp. I think we can do it. I, I think we can do it. I hope we can do it. <laughs> I don't know, what do you guys think? Can we do it? I'm hopeful. I think we're good. We're good. We're gonna make it. Ooh, ooh, yeah, nice. Okay, perfect. We'll head back after this. 
Yes, okay. Let's go ahead and place a meadow first, and then we'll go. Okay. We are retreating. We did it. Another success. You've returned, and we still remember you. Unbelievable. Yeah, also, everyone has kind of amnesia. They don't really know what's going on, and they can't remember anything. Yeah, it's good to be back, but I'd hardly call it a success. My old memories of the world are gone. The path is empty, again. And there's only darkness everywhere I look. Interesting. So technically, you remember that there are things you have forgotten. We should find a way to use that. Let's talk about something more positive. We managed to tidy this place up. It's time for the next step. What do you have in mind? Expanding the camp. We have all sorts of craftsmen, from cooks to an alchemist, but they all need a place to work. But we can't use the materials from around here. You turn away for a second from a branch or a stone, and you've just... You just found and it's gone. I'm afraid the only I'm afraid only you can solve this problem. The material, materials that survived your trip always look suitable for building. But these are just stones and splinters. How can you build something with them? Curious, eh? I noticed it with the fire you've made. The things you obtain somehow infect everything similar with stability. Nice. <laughs> emote only. Tets Tetsuzaman. Get that get that emote only chat going. Only in small amounts, but it's still something. Even a small branch is enough to make a wooden wall exist without constant supervision. Nice. Okay, so let's see how close we are to building anything. We are still a ways from building anything, so... Um, I'm thinking... That's a lot of wood to gather to get... To get a refuge for the for the rogue, I think we want to just buff ourselves a little bit more. Like, maybe get an herbalist hut. Let's get it. Let's get an herbalist hut up next, maybe. 